camera rolls, and marker. Nice, nice day out. Uh, hey guys, hey, how's it going? Can I help you gentlemen? Hey, uh -huh. biking in every day on 365. Hey guys. You guys had a nice stay. The, the NAB accreditation board interview process. Are we ready to begin? So, what exactly do you say you do here? You know, uh, it, it takes a, um, a village to raise a student, and I think that we have very excellent support staff here. Yeah, what does anyone do here? I don't know, like, you want to be, like, clear about it, hyper clear? I don't know, let's diagram it, shoot! You know, I try and keep knuckleheads from losing their fingers, like me. Why this is better than this. Bonds. I love all types of bonds. Big bonds, fawn bonds, red bonds, blue bonds, timber bonds. I designed Snowbird. I'm sure you've heard of it. Amazing. I uh, designed that, what, back in 1872? Uh, anyhow, what do I do here? Uh, over here to the board. If you're going with it. We have the, uh, here's this architecture. Over here, we have the constituents that are MSU. I'm somewhere in the middle. But if we begin to look at this in the 3D dimension. Oh, what I do here, well, I, I get involved in the community, and I expect everybody else to be doing the same. I mean, giving, what, 50 to 750 hours a week, you know? Just community involvement. It's not that hard, people, okay? Registration, student counseling, portfolio preparation. Did you see this? It got stretched a little bit, so I'm going to build myself a jig, and I'm going to re-tighten the spring so that it works about as well as our 3D printer. So, uh... You guys got something for me? Uh, for the most part, I do some infinitesimal gradations with a little bit of mechanicalizing something idiosyncratic on the side. I am a strong female in a strong female position. Um, I spend a lot of my life energy here. Guys, I was going to be a transfer student from Columbia, but they saw that I was coming from Columbia, so they made me a professor. So I've just been running with that for a little while. Well, I am teaching some philosophy classes as well as some architectural theory. I help people connect with the uh, internet. What do I do here? Well, I keep clever architectural students in line. That's what I do here. So what you're saying is it's all connected? Yeah, I don't know. Let's look back here at the... Uh, uh, the kind of third thought. I haven't seen my husband in six years. In fact, since the last accreditation. Blue bonds, timber bonds, uh, metal bonds. Built this guitar this morning on the lathe out of one solid piece of African mahogany. Well, I'm working on this new program, No Student Left Behind and it's dealing with conforming every student in the arts and architecture program down to the same level. Well, when you are thinking about the epistemology of learning, it would be prudent to conceptualize people, process, and place. So, tell us what you see here. Oh, the printers are working. It, it is definitely a, a, a residue of a trace of a, of a reality of an imprint. This is the exhaust manifold of a 1973 Volkswagen. Right, right. I think I see um, a whole world of fierceness and sunshine and um, uh, running up and down the street and you're making a line in the sand. Clearly, it's just a happy butterfly. 
But but no, it's it's not about making the line. It's about the the residues residues of the line. Really. Z. We have to tease it apart. Okay. There's there's uh, there's a footprint and a trace of something I happening. Footprints. I just I see. Please. I see a nipple. So, what is your community outreach strategy? Well, I would liken my community outreach strategy to an octopus. You see, I'm kind of like the head, and then I send my students out there, and they're out there, you know, grabbing their little suckers on things and rooting in, but, you know, I'm the one controlling that, so that's kind of full circle there, you yeah. know? I took another sabbatical, and I went out, and I drew the community. Community outreach strategy. Well, I would say the community outreach strategy starts when the contacts, I have lots of contacts all across the country, mostly Montana, but one of my contacts reaches in to me, and then my students and I, we make a building. I spend a lot of time skydiving, I'm a professional skydiver. I also knit sweaters for inner city youth, and I teach quantum physics to the homeless shelter. It's the aperture and the grid and the rhythm lines. It's a nice drawing. I drew that. Well, I am the chairman of the committee for Waffle Slabs for a Better World. Um, also the committee for Miesian Ideals for a Better World. Really getting the community involved. Like, did you know that 68% of middle-aged women prefer blue tiles over white? Well, it begins with uh, some of the letters I received from students uh, complaining about the cold in the building. What they don't realize is that I'm redistributing this heat that we generate in the arts and architecture department and sending it back into the town of Bozeman. Now, what might your spirit animal be? I could probably be a flamingo. I guess I would really liken myself to a mama bear tending her cubs. It's a sloth. A barn cat. Yeah, see, you know what it comes down to, really? It's this little guy. This little guy right here. Grasshopper. Hmm, probably a timid panda. Definitely a wolverine. Well, well not, not at all a wolverine, but, a, but a, definitely a Polish wolverine. Really nice, little, small, fluffy things. I would say that it would be the baboon Rafiki. Wrong again! <laughs> well, I would say the old uh, Volkswagen bug. Haggis! Definitely haggis. Could, could you clarify that for us, sir? You know, like sheep innards, their intestines, their gizzards, their livers, their kidneys all blended beautifully together in one. Mm, haggis. I would say I, I kind of equate myself to a uh, rosebud, my basset hound. I just love coming home after a hard day at the office and unwinding with her and laying on the ground and, and playing. Dr. Rafiki, please describe your personal research. Well, when one is thinking about research, you wouldn't get it. My personal philosophy. Well, I, I know a lot about philosophy. I got my doctors in philosophy when I was on the beaches in Hawaii. What would your closest friend do? English bonds, German bonds, French bonds, Dutch bonds, Swedish bonds, Swiss bonds. I don't know. <laughs> Quick, dirty, and sexy. I mean, 150% of the buildings in the world use waffle slabs. And you want to know why? Because they work. Oh, rubbish. Oh, phenomenal. Oh, well, there's a whole world of phenomenology and critical regionalism and sunshine but 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 it's it's not all about at all about critical being critical or or well it is that's why it's called critical regionalism it, it is not even it's not even regionalism
continuous, and it's more it's more about the global scale, and, and then looking at that in, in partitions of smaller smaller sections of of areas, really being critical. Yeah, right. Areas, but <laughs> critical regionalism. That's what we're talking about. Ah. <laughs> holes. You know, I mean, the great thing about I like to design polyvalent holes. Holes that have maybe 17 to 95 uses, you know? On the one side, you got your grave holes, and then on the other side of the rectum, you got your hole holes, you know, full circle, everything, full circle. So, Tom, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh, you know, performing building analysis and energy analysis, replacing old light bulbs with new light bulbs. I like to follow the open road and just see where my old love bus takes me. I really think I'll be practicing hermitage in the Himalayas. Well, if you see, then you know, and then you'll see that it is. Watering the plants, dodging the freshmen. Um, probably in the interim director position. Oh, 10 days? Um, definitely on a plane back to Florida. Headaches and sleepless nights. You know, because then you see what you know. Grain barns, brick barns, limestone barns. You know, without the job security, of course. I will be exploring the pedagogical implications of the sacred and the profane in the phallic post-dystopian membrane. The question session is now complete. Thank you for coming. Wonderful, please. No, thank you. Thank you so much. If you'll excuse me, I, I have a plane to catch. Thank you. Where we really get spot on. Make it clear. You know. How clear? Hyper clear. Do you think that they passed? Yeah, yeah. I'm... It is that guy still diagramming? I think so. Maybe we should just keep our voices down. Yeah. Is it cold in here? Yeah, remember she said they're feeding all the heat to the community? Yeah. Their community outreach is, was really strong. Yeah, geez, they're heating the whole community? How generous. Yeah. I can't even feel my toes. Are your fingers supposed to be black? I think I got frostbite just filming this.